staying with courts and rappers and shit. The the fe- the sweep. What do you Lex? What is your what is your take on that many rappers going down that that consecutively and the uh, and it and it all being gang enhancement charges for the most part? Like I think G Herbo shit was tied to some financial shit, but that just sounds like to G's point the scams and shit. Like, what was your take? I had two separate takes. Hmm. Like, I know we're in a pandemic, and so, you know, in a pandemic, like, it's something me and you talked about. Hmm. The wolves is going to come down from the mountains. Yeah. And if they can put a, any type of celebrity with this gang, I don't, like, I don't know exactly if there's, like, there's no notoriety. Notoriety. Yeah, for, you know, the group that does that. So that's the first thing. And then the other thing that comes to mind is with the new, as far as the game of politics and money. Hmm. So if the new president and VP really are going to come there and start messing with people's budgets, Hmm. we need to have proof that our budget needs to be this big. And so then look at the, type of groups that we just arrested. Oh, you talking about the end, the end of the year shit. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 100, 100%. So, the first, yeah. Surplus for departments and shit. Like, they had, they had to... Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and no, they're I'm already talking about how they are they want to start taking money from a lot of these mm-hmm. and saying this. So it's like, we just did two big busts. Like, that's proof that we need this surplus of capital and we need a little bit more. Because we would have did three, but we didn't have enough funds to do the third in paying people with manpower. Yeah. So Damn, I, had, I, had, I hadn't considered that point, if I'm being honest, but it is the end of the year. Um, it's right, right on time, literally right on time. And then the, the way the holiday schedules are for court cases, like niggas gonna have to sit to the top of the year. That's the other scary part. Like, if they can't make bail or if they don't offer them bail, like, a lot of them are gonna have to sit through the holidays, which is so sad. Judge uh, gone till January oh, 5th. E- easy, easy. Um, G, did you, did you, did that shit come across your, your radar at all? Any of those? Uh, Casanova, G Herbo, uh, now Young and May? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, um, that's crazy, man. Like I said, with the like the with the FBI and all that shit, mm-hmm. bro, they be sitting on shit for a minute, bro. Like you be thinking that you're getting away with shit, and this is not like saying that they actually did in these things. I don't know that shit. Yeah, but I'm just saying, like they, you give them a reason to be on the radar, and they they are just like sitting back and putting together what the entire case for your ass. So. That part sucks because it's not like a, it's not a quick, swift form of action. So like you, so like a lot of folks that, and it do, it doesn't put you in the best, uh, in the best like um, situation either because it's not like you're on the best terms financially as a group. You know what I'm saying? Like it's like you're, it's not like they're giving you a um, a fair shot at legal uh, forms of doing things around here. You know what I'm saying? So with that being the case, what are your options when you try to feed your family? You feel me? So with that with that in line, it's not it doesn't match up well and it doesn't sit well with me um the way that it's set up. Uh because these are it I wouldn't say that in a lot of these situations these are terrible people. <laughs> I would say that these are people that are dealing with dealing within the means that they have afforded to them and they're getting something from the deal. And it's like, bro, you got to look at how, like, it's not talked about enough how crazy white collar crime is. <laughs> like, man, we be talking about all the wrong shit. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, these be the, this, the, this the shit that crosses, like, the radar and you start telling people they should have been doing different things when they got into a certain line of work. Kiss my ass. Not true, not true at all. You do what the fuck you want to do, and you live with the consequences. Hmm. That's that's really what it is. So I, I wouldn't, I would, I can't tell people to, I can't tell people that. I can't, I, t- I can't tell people not to, not to hurt your brethren. Yeah. So I can't say like, 
can't be killing can't be killing our own. Yeah. Like there's enough folks doing that shit for us. Yeah. I can say that. But I can't tell you how to try to get your try to get your bread. Get your chicky. You feel me? I can't say that shit. So I ain't got no words yeah, on that. Man, I, I struggle. I struggle with this because this shit is corrupt, bro. Like this entire thing is corrupt. Yeah. There's not a there's not a big business that didn't do some shit corrupt. Thank you, G. So don't be getting mad at like individuals for trying to do some shit off of the scraps of what somebody else did did already. That ain't got away with that just because they had, they had different skin tone. The and may, may, I'm not maybe I know y'all both can help me with this. The maybe the last three weeks or so, maybe even a little, a little bit longer. I'm so I'm so proud to be a like a rapper, <laughs> like, <laughs> like I love that shit. However, I fully I fully fully understand why young up and comers and OGs who are trying to leverage notoriety, fame. Go sit down with DJ Vlad. I'm not mad at them for that. I never thought I would say that out loud. Like, I get it. What happens to their their like their likeness, their platforms, whatever, like their ability to book and earn, what happens from their their appearance on them show on that show is insane. From a monetary standpoint, like immediately, Faison Love's name is everywhere. Man. Like everywhere. When was the last time you fucking thought about Faison Love? Bro, funny ass story. I was in uh, San Diego and we used to do uh, these, San, these San Diego trips to um, like this tournament out there that was co like in high school mm -hmm. because it was a co ed tournament. Uh -huh. And we all stayed at the same hotel. So, uh, so like you just have to have a floor basically. So it'll be an all guy floor, all women floor, all guy floor, all women floor. So but this is wild for like three straight years. Mm -hmm. But we went to there. I think like the second year we was out there, and this man Faison Love was at the hotel checking in, but was trying to act as if he wasn't himself, and he was going completely overboard by like taping up his shoes, bro. Like he put uh, duct tape on his shoes. Um. And like tried to look like bummy and shit like that, and we was like, bro, what are you doing? <laughs> and I just find that shit to be hella funny, bro, because like this thing was obviously bro, you're a big worm, bro. You're you're never. There's nothing you can do. My nigga was acting hard too, like acting hard. I was like, I was like, bro, I'm not like, no, it's not. That's comedy. But yeah, I. So, and when I say I can understand, I'm not. It's not. This isn't me stamping it, but. In the name of trying to earn, what what what's 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 off limits then, right? Like, is is any is anything off limits at that point? You just we just said it can't tell people how to earn their money, and I and I don't I don't aspire to be that that person that's looking down on anyone that's just trying to that's just trying to figure it out. But don't do I do I have. Do I have an obligation to say fuck fuck Vlad every time every chance I get? I'm I'm, I'm asking that seriously. Yeah. Am I obligated to say that? Yeah, if you feel if you feel if you, if that's if, how you feel, man. If the spirit moves you. No, no, that's how I feel because yeah. I I feel he single handedly. I feel he I, and I mean this shit. I feel he he's single handedly responsible for the continued death of young black the continued death and arrest of young black men. In 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 the realm of hip hop, I do. I genuinely feel that way. Is I, that? I just hate his interview style, man. I hate him sitting behind that damn camera and that camera being on a person like an interrogation. And, and they do and, that shit every single time. I, and, I, I I just cannot stand it. Gee, they do it that way. You hear you hear his voice, but then he also goes, "You lost your dad at such and such age. Tell me more about that. How does that, <laughs> how does that make you feel?" How did you feel losing your friend, your best friend at 15? How did you feel that you had to... Who the fuck are you? Mm. And why does it sound like you getting your your rocks off asking these young black men about the trauma that they've endured? He's touching his piece, darn it. Uh, he has to be. Yeah. It sounds like it, you if fucking off, freak. Camera, he little could little be. dirty deputant. <laughs> <laughs> 
I thought you was going with devil, but you had a deputy. Dep- t- hey, that, that's dep- that's dep- a person. That is crazy. Hey, hey, oh. you, you took my body out of there. Bro. Oh, man. No, nah, that's. Um... Yeah, no, nah, I definitely agree, man. I definitely agree. That's that, that's that bullshit. But yeah, hopefully everybody um, uh, beats whatever charges they have on, on them. And, uh, you know, it gives you different perspective uh, when you're moving out here. Um, just know that folks be watching. They be watching. They be watching. 